Well, hey, Willard. Uh, what do you have here? Oh, hi, Christy. I was playing dress up to be a gardener earlier, and then I thought I should make a real garden. Wow, I love gardening. But those flowers aren't looking so good. Oh, I know. My plants in the pot, they're doing fine, but I cut these ones to give them to my mom, and now they're all wilty. Oh, well, that's what happens when you cut flowers. Cut the flowers? That's right. You see how this one is still in the soil? The roots help the rest of the plant to grow in the soil, and this one can get big and strong. But this one doesn't have that anymore. It was cut, so it can't grow big and strong. Oh, I see. The soil helps it grow, doesn't it? Plants need soil and water, but more, most importantly, they need roots to grow. The soil and the water, it might help the flowers for a little bit longer, but it won't help them grow without being in the ground with roots. Oh no, so my flowers won't grow? It's okay, you did such a good job with these other ones. These ones will grow really big because they're connected to the roots. Oh. You know, we are kind of like these plants. We are? Yeah, when we make Jesus the leader of our lives, we grow to be more like him. And that can bring us a lot of joy. Uh, Christy, What's joy? Well, joy is like being really happy because of Jesus being in your heart. Wow, Jesus helps us so much. Yeah, we need him. And he doesn't just help us grow, he also makes us happy. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. Let's say that together, ready? Knowing, Knowing Jesus, Jesus brings me joy. joy. So when we grow, we're happy? Yeah, look at how happy these plants in the dirt look. They look nice and colorful and big. These ones aren't connected, so they're not very happy. When we're connected to Jesus, we're happy. Oh, is that like when I eat ice cream, I'm happy for a little bit, but Jesus makes me happy all the time? Yeah, joy is like happiness, but it never goes away. Oh, I wanna be happy all the time. How do I make Jesus my roots? Hmm, let's go ask Margaret. Oh, hi friends, it's me, Margaret. We're learning about gardens today. Well, kind of. We're learning about how we're like gardens, but I don't know much about them. Hmm, I wonder who could help me. Hey, Margaret, do you like my garden? I do, Grandpa. The colorful flowers are beautiful. Uh, what's that right there? That's a grape. All of the leaves right here are part of a grapevine. Mmm, they're my favorite. Cool. Can I have a branch to take home? I want to grow my own grapes. If you take a branch, it won't grow any grapes. The vines right here give the plants life to grow fruit. They have to stay connected to each other. Oh, that reminds me of a Bible story about how we have to stay friends with Jesus. Thank you for teaching me, Grandpa. Of course, kiddo. Bye. I'm so excited to share this story with you all. But first, let's practice our one thing. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. Say that with me. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. That's because we can always be happy when Jesus lives in our hearts. Now let's learn our story. It's from John chapter 15. That's in the New Testament of the Bible. Let's read. I am the true grapevine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit so they will produce even more. When Jesus says produce good fruit, that means to do good things. When you help a friend who fell down or share your snacks with someone, that's good fruit. We can't make good fruit without Jesus. We have to be connected to him, like being friends with Jesus. Let's keep reading. Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. We have to be good friends with Jesus, like a branch in my grandpa's garden being connected to the vine. But what happens if we don't stay connected with Jesus? We will be like Willard's flowers that were cut. They withered. We won't produce good fruit and we won't be more and more like Jesus. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. Let's say that together. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. When we produce good fruit, we are true disciples of Jesus. That's when we go out and tell others about him. Doing good things for others helps them too because we're sharing God's love with them. 
And when we do that, it makes Jesus very happy. And that will fill us with God's joy. Oh, don't you guys want to have joy all the time? Things like sweet snacks or days at the park make us happy for a little bit. But Jesus gives us joy forever. We will have God's joy in us when we make him the leader of our lives and live in the new life that he has for us. Let's practice our memory verse. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. Say that with me. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. I have so much joy seeing you all today. Have a good week and go make good fruit by helping others. Bye. Oh, I want to have joy all the time. Me too. It's a good thing that we have Jesus in our hearts. He's always in our hearts and he makes us happy and joyful. Uh, hey, Christy, yeah. how do I know if I'm connected to Jesus so he can help me grow? Mm. When you do things, you should think about Jesus. What does he want you to do? Hmm, like what? Well, Jesus was always kind and loving, so everything we should do should also be kind and loving. Think about what Jesus would do. Oh, and read our Bibles. And pray. Oh, I'm so glad that we have so many ways to be connected to Jesus. Me too. In fact, it makes me really joyful. Knowing Jesus brings me joy. Say that with me. Knowing, Knowing Jesus, Jesus brings, brings me joy. joy. Want to help me with my garden? Let's do it. Let's get rid of these ones first.